You can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description. To add a node to a group, simply go to the node tab, then select groups. From here, press the plus. Here, we can set the name and description if we're using global. Leaving it unchecked will make the group a scene group, which is a type of group that persists only within the scene that the group is created in. Although, keep in mind that if different scenes use the same group name, then they will be treated as the same group. Global groups are groups that persist through the game and across different scenes and levels. The use case of global groups could be something like UI elements that exist across levels or audio related systems. If you create a scene group, then all nodes within that scene will have a checkbox to put them inside that group. Alternatively, if you make it a global group, then any scene will have that checkbox as well. Alternatively, you could use the add to group function instead. If you have nodes in a global group, then you can go to project, project settings, select globals, then go to the groups tab. From here, we can double click the name and rename it, or we can change the description by double clicking it, as well as deleting the group. If you leave delete references from all scenes unchecked, then nodes that are added to the global group will simply convert that group to a scene group. This tab is important for dealing with global groups and managing them, especially if you have many global groups within your game. With the groups established and added to the nodes in your game, you can now use many different useful functions. First, as a simpler for loop that searches through every node of a specific group, which is handy as you don't have to deal with the scene tree hierarchy. Next, you can set a variable within the nodes of a group. If the variable doesn't exist, then simply nothing will happen to that node. Additionally, you can call a function from each node in the group, and you can call a notification from each node. Keep in mind that if you are using a custom notification, then you will need to have this built-in notification function inside of the nodes of the group. Finally, you can also check whether a specific node is in a specific group or not.